My name is uh, TJ Khwaja and I am the uh, owner of SunTech Power Systems here in Pakistan. Uh, we represent uh, uh, big names like uh, SMA Power Systems from Germany, Face Sun uh, again from Germany. We have uh, solar water pumping from Lorenz Grundfos. Um, we are the first ones in Pakistan who have done the um, uh, grid tide uh, net metering projects in uh, Hassan Abdal and two projects in Lahore. We have done uh, lots of projects with NDC. We represent uh, Solar Heart uh, from Australia, who deal in uh, solar water heaters. Uh, we have installed uh, lots of these in Islamabad, Lahore, and Rawalpindi. To my knowledge, I am the only certified PV professional in Pakistan from the United States of America. Uh, I have done numerous uh, certifications from Germany, and from UK, and again from USA itself. If you look into the West, uh, it has overwhelmingly taken over the uh, whole of the uh, West. They are installing uh, thousands of megawatts of uh, uh, solar, wind, biomass, energies, and they're trying to shift away from the traditional nuclear uh, power plants. Let me give you an example. For example, in Germany, Germany produces 40% uh, of the world's uh, uh, solar energy whereas they have uh, only half of the solar contribution as compared to the Pakistan. And they are now uh, uh, almost 30% uh, of their own local needs. So which means that the 12 nuclear pl power plants have been shut down because they have installed so much solar. And most of that solar, 90% of that solar has been installed on top of the uh, individual's homes, which is known as the domestic uh, grid tight projects. If we, uh, the government supports us, and gives us a good feed and tariff for the local consumer here in Pakistan, I think the things can change here as well, and people will go more and more for grid tight projects. Um, at the same time, I'll let you know that we have done the first grid tight projects in, in Pakistan, and you can see that it has been, the solar or the renewable policy has been there for seven years, but this is the first time that a grid tight project has been uh, done. And the future is only grid tight projects, I think, in my opinion. REAP is an excellent organization, they have been uh, instrumental in uh, giving awareness to the common people here in, in this country. And uh, I, I commend them. And uh, I think if they can continue with this thing and make people aware that this is a good, good system and it does work and support only those companies which really supply the workable solutions, then I think uh, it has a great future. For the time being, uh, they are helpful in the sense that they are producing good products. What we can request them is that have a different pricing, pricing structure for third world countries because our people in our countries can definitely not afford the same amount of pricing systems as they have in their own countries. So we have been at it, we have been requesting them and they have been helpful so far. But I think we need uh, more indulgence from them. Uh, United Nations and UNDP and uh, GIZ, which is a German uh, aid agency, have been working really hard with the government of Pakistan and been giving them some free projects as well just to make people aware and help them out. So they are doing their part. On, on your left you see a solar water heater. This is uh, from a solar heart company out of uh, Australia. This carries a five-year no-nonsense warranty. Anything goes wrong, it's just replaced. It's an international warranty. It is an indirect water heating system, which means that your water, doesn't matter what quality water it is, it will be inside uh, one of these shells which you see in the blue color and then uh, the heating fluid is actually circulating on the outside of that blue shell and the red shell there. Has a very thick insulation and also has an electric backup. What that means is that no matter what the weather is and what if there's a sun or no sun, you still get your uh, hot water. As compared to uh, natural gas water geyser, it takes about 3,500 rupees a month, uh, conservatively, uh, you have to spend on that. Whereas on, with a solar water heater, you don't have to spend any money. So what that means is you're saving about 36,000 rupees a uh, year uh, by installing a solar water heater. It pays itself off about in four years to six years, and then the rest of the 17 to 20 years, it is free for you. 
and uh, again, if there's no gas, there's no electricity, it doesn't matter, it will still work, it'll still give you hot water. There's really no maintenance involved with this because there's no moving part. All you have to do is clean this uh, collector, which is, uh, you can see here, which is this glass uh, uh, thing over here. Well, uh, let me show you. It will not break. It is very strong. Uh, whereas, uh, compared to this, you have uh, uh, glass tubes, uh, uh, solar water heaters from China. If you throw a stone on it, it will break. I'm not saying they're bad products, but yes, as far as the price is concerned, they're very good products for so that price class. This is a different class altogether. On the other side, you will see, first of all, a solar uh, electric light on the top in the black. This is a 12-watt system for a small house. You can install outside in the garden or wherever. Has one solar uh, panel on top, has a battery behind it, and then you have a 12-watt lamp. This comes from uh, Italy. You can go up to as high as 100 watt, 200 watt, depending on the application. So we are doing street uh, solar street lights also again with the collaboration with the company from uh, Italy. Below you see two inverters. There's, this is an SMA inverter in the red, which converts your electricity from the sun to an AC grid uh, compatible electricity. So what that means is that you can actually uh, connect your Vabda connection to this system and whenever you're not using any units, there those units will go to Vabda. And we will install a special meter in collaboration with ISCO or LESCO or with Vabda in which the excess electricity made, the units will go towards uh, Vabda. And when you again start using your uh, electricity and then, the, then you will first consume your own unit so that will be free. So that means the system will, is always making money for you. Now, in case you want uh, also another solution where you say that when the Vabda is not there, load shedding is there, what do you do then? Then you have to install another inverter, which is in yellow color at the, at the bottom, which is a backup inverter actually. Along with these batteries, which are special batteries, which are deep cycle batteries, and the normal warranty for these batteries is about 7 to 10 years. And the nominal life can be as high as 15 to 20 years, which is usually unheard of in Pakistan because we always use Chinese and substandard batteries. But these are made in uh, Germany and made in USA. So these batteries are really nice and really meant for this purpose. These are not the normal car batteries. These are deep cycle batteries for renewable energy needs. We have a... Um, uh, special uh, e-commerce website which is under development and should be online in another one month or so in which we are going to be uh, listing about 3,000 products, renewable energy products. So if you want to buy just products yourself and make your own system, you can do that. We'll help you with the design, we'll help you with the sourcing and uh, you can also do that. Or if you want a turnkey project, we can do that for you as well.